Okay, here we go. Game three. Wild card for Birdman. ZVP. On GSL Dual Sight. Um, in my opinion, uh, Protoss should have a little bit of an advantage on this map. Because of the rush distance. That's basically it. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I'll join you so you don't sound so awkwardly alone. Yeah, I, I hate it. When I was caught casting with Colin, it was so much better. You know, there's, there's really not much to talk about in the first, like, six minutes of a game. Like, oh, they're, uh, they're building more drones. This is, uh, so, BlizzCon, new units. <laughs> they're, uh, here they're taking out two of the Protoss Air units, and that's why they're adding two more. Yeah, I was just starting to use carriers a little bit in my game. They're almost worthless, though. You can, you can do some carrier cheese, two base carrier cheese against Sir. We've seen it in the GSL a few times now. And what's the other one? Mothership's leaving? Or? Yeah, Mothership's leaving in favor of Nexus getting mass recall. Just as uh, Kiwakaki was starting to show us how to use Mothership's. Yeah, and alright. Ball the ship offline. I love how it's called Heart of the Swarm, but um, they're only making two Zerg units compared to three from the other two races. It's very true, very true, but the, the single player looks to be pretty good. I already saw the ending to the single player. My friend showed me it and I wanted to cry my eyes out because he was like, yo, look at this. And then he showed me it and I wanted to kill him. I won't ruin it for everybody else though. This is 14 pool. Pretty uh, neutral build though, not too economic. Thrown down the 14 pool down, but not too army heavy. Standard. Get his gas. Lockhart doing the right thing, throwing the hatch down against the Protoss. You always have to stay one base ahead of any other race, well, Zerg two, but it's especially important to stay one base ahead, or else you won't be able to keep up. He uh, gave up his gas to. Double gas. Gave up. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, cancel it. Just a uh, hatcher trick on the one gas. Birdman opening with a zealot. The warp gate with its 160 second build time now. <laughs> Interesting, these uh, chrono boosting probes instead of trying to. Yeah. Uh, interesting timing to be chrono in the Nexus. It's very uh, Inori. Both players are pretty blind right now about what's going on. Uh, Protoss hasn't seen the hatch, the yeah, second hatch, and uh, well, there's not really much to see in the Protoss base. Except, oh, no, right, a lot of robotics facility. Going down. Uh, it kind of makes sense now. Trying to go uh, the one base Colossus build, producing the probes out so we can get enough gas and minerals to support the two gate, or three gate rather, and uh, Robo facility. It's barely manageable. Interesting that he's continuing to make probes on what looks like to be a one base time. Zerg looks poking up that right now. Ah, 
I foresee a one base Robo push. I see. Like two Colossi. And it getting stomped out. Protoss has no vision of this ritual. Yeah, a wild card's layer is over. Done with. Got it. Starting to get that second base underway finally. Twilight Council. Down. We have a Twilight Council going down. I don't think I've quite seen this all in from Protoss against Zergs. We'll see what he has in mind. Especially with that. I mean, you can put a probe all the way up forward, but. I don't know. I don't. Arch is going to scout all. the front here. He's going to be denied. Only loses one lane. Shouldn't have lost any, though. <clears throat> Twilight Council still not going to any use. Not quite See, if you. Sure. If you look up to the top right, uh, Zerg's mass in that gas. I don't. He can't spend all that gas right now. I don't know what he's planning to do with it yet. Keeping those lanes out there in the middle of nowhere for scouting possibilities. Uh, we got a ton of stalkers and zealots. He's killing his cybernetics core. Yep. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm still so puzzled about this Twilight Council. No charge, no blink, no DT structure. Waste of minerals and gas. <laughs> Um, those lanes saw that spine crawler going down for defense. Looks like uh, Arch is gonna. He's gonna have quite a hard time holding this push from the Protoss. Those immortals are gonna do nasty DPS against these rituals. Yes, he needs to get. Spine crawlers is the one he needs right now. That's pretty bad. Micro and his units are out getting around to the spine crawler. Spine crawler gets a few hits. Queen getting on the action here. Yeah. Just have speed now. I don't know just why he's trying to fight the battle outside of his spine crawler territory. That doesn't make any sense. Throwing right? away these roaches. Basically, yeah. He's trying to get that immortal down. That's what he's trying to do. Second immortal in the fray. Expanding behind us. Protoss still doesn't have a forward pylon. I don't know why. Losing a few zealots there. Just like Zerg is going to clean us up. Protoss took too long, in my opinion, there. He kind of dilly dallied and didn't commit to a push, kind of just poked and lost too many units. Whoever Arch needs to see this expansion, know that he needs to expand or he needs to push one or the other. Carapace and range on the going down for the Zerg. He, I don't even know why the Protoss units are still out here. They're just stranded at this point. As long as Zerg does not engage off creep and out of range of his spines, he will easily hold this. Yes. He might even not even need it. He won't need it. He's cleaning this up by himself. Once again, both players are poking and prodding and losing unnecessary units. There we go. Zerg finally decides, hey, I got this. Both <laughs> back in the way. I don't know where the reinforcements are. The reinforcements are just chilling in the base. 
We still gotta clean it up, but that was some unnecessary losses from Roaches. Roaches reinforcements were lost a lot less. If you haven't noticed, he's been building gateways out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Zerg now beats by well over 50 That, right, oh, that's such a waste of minerals, those gateways went up, we didn't cancel. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't agree more, Birdman. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, Arch wins his match. Punch Drexel up 2-1. to 2-1, Drexel. Am I, am I incorrect here? Or? I believe you're correct. Okay.